I probably should say first that all the things I do in Premiere Pro I taught myself. So this might not be the, the most professional or the, or the proper way, but only the way I, I taught it myself. I do all my color correction and color grading with the Lumetri color, which is this window over, over here. I believe you only have Lumetri color since Premiere Pro CC 2014 or 2015. So if you use an older version, some of the functions I use, you cannot, you will not have, but most of them you find, um, which are pretty much brightness and contrast, three-way color corrector and RGB curves. But if you have Adobe Premiere CC 2015 and you don't know where it is, then you find it under Windows and then Lumetri Color. Usually people first do color correction and then do color grading. But I do first the color grading and then the color correction. This is for a simple reason. And this is that I use a specific look. This is because I am not a very creative person in terms of colors. So I need to use a look. And of course this is also much faster and much easier. So this is a good way to start. Those uh, looks are all presets of Adobe Premiere Pro. And most of them I don't like. I just don't see any use for them. But this one I think is very suitable for wedding videos. So first thing I do is, or you do, is that you apply this look to one of your videos. To one which is already color corrected, by the way. So it should not be one which is totally out of color, much too dark, much too bright. So it should already look quite nice. This one was the one I used. This is how it looked by default. And then I and then I added the look, and the next thing was uh, making those small adjustments. How much faded filter should it be sharper or even less sharp? How should be the vibrance? Vibrance? How should be the saturation? I have in almost all the scenes the same settings for this specific topic. So how we can adjust it for all of them is that you either make an adjustment layer and then simply put on the adjustment layer this this look or you simply mark it here and now do control C and then paste it in each video file which is of course a bit weird probably there is a better way but that's how I do it after pasting it in all your video files because only applying a look and then not doing any more uh, adjustments would not be nice and I promise you that your video will look very ugly because there are so many more things you need to do to make it look very nice. Uh, we have the window basic corrections which I don't use that much. I Those here, the tone, I don't really use but I do changes on my on my white balance. Uh, let me give you a good sample. I think this is a good sample, yes. If I would have it on default, this is how it would look like. And I think the faces are very orange. Too orange. So I put it on minus 20. And I think now the faces look much better. Don't think that you now always have to put it on, on minus 20. It really depends on your personal scenes whether you have to make it more a bit blue or a bit more orange. But especially in the inside scenes here, uh, most of the time I felt like it is better to have it a bit more bluish because I just found this is very strong in color and I preferred it a bit less strong. I, th I mean, I think her face is still orange enough not to look too pale. Creative we already talked about so we can skip it. Now the curves. The curves are for me the most important one. Okay, wait. First let me show you some more scenes of the preset before and after that you know what I mean. I mean this is after and this is before. This is, this just looks so normal. It, it just doesn't look special at all and with the color grading it just looks much more special. This one even looked very ugly otherwise. Look, look on all this green here. Just very much green but with the Lumetri color it just looks much nicer.
same this one yeah uh, you can already see it on the right side here how I changed my my RGB curve especially the outside scenes were very green as you can see here it's just a lot of green and even the faces have a green tone so what I did is now I say I want a bit less green like that and in this one um, it was oversaturated and very green very green and oversaturated so you can see how I changed it um, first of all less green and also the um, general brightness I turned down especially also the whites a bit more and the blacks I tried to leave as as they are. I will not, ju not just go through and you can see how many changes actually did to the RGB curve. Sometimes I had to make it brighter like in this scene. Just found it. Ooh, very green. <laughs> very green without. This one I made brighter. You can see. And a bit less green. Now the church scenes, this one I made brighter. Just found it even I mean they are dark anyway, but I found that too dark. This is just underexposed. But this is much better uh much better ex exposure. Yeah, just make sure that you go through every single scene and just try it out. Whether you have to when you have to make it brighter, you go up. When you want to make it darker, you go down. Here I made it a, a bit darker. This was just too bright. I even have scenes which are super bright. Let me shortly show you over here. Very bright. So I made it a bit darker. And the color reel I never I mean I know how it how it works, but I still don't really touch it. But vignetting it's just typical for wedding videos. Um, usually when you think about vignetting, you think about it as something bad that your lens, pro with what your lens produces and you don't really want to have it. But I think in a wedding video, it just makes it look, it just helps to deliver this cozy atmosphere, I would say. Yeah, I, I, I think Yes, I think that's the proper term for it. So if I would turn it off, it just looks, I mean, you can see the difference. It just looks much, much cozier, much more comfortable with the vignetting. Um, how the vignetting works, I mean, you, you can just try it out, but this is how strong it is. Yeah, I mean, well, mid, midpoint pretty much means where does it start? Just try it out. Roundness doesn't matter. Feather. I mean, who would want this? <laughs> so we put it back on default. Um, even here, I uh, I adjusted it for every single shot. Minus three, minus three. You can see it on the amount. That one I adjusted. This one I only put on minus 1.4 because the corners were already darker because of the lens I used. So it wouldn't really make sense to add even more vignetting. That's why it depends on the scene how much the amount is. Let's show you a few more scenes before and after. Before using Lumetri Color, after using it. Before and after. Before and after. I mean, yeah, I think this just looks so much more comfortable than this. This anyone could record, but this just looks special. That's why. That's why I like it. It just looks special. You can also see that this look really focuses on the skins. Here, the skin looks very dull, very under, even underexposed. However, I had to put the exposer like this because otherwise this part would be overexposed. But through this look, um, you're still not, uh, well, this is maybe a bit overexposed, but it's fine. But the um, skin has a much nicer tone and has just a perfect brightness. 
I hope this video was helpful for you and that this will help you to uh, color create your wedding video. As well, just remember that there is not one specific look that you can always use or any one setting that always works for every scene. No, you have to make adjustments for every single scene. But the foundation I showed you this specific look, all the important adjustments. And I hope this will help you to make a nice video. If you have any further questions, just, uh, just write in the comments. I hope I, I can help you. I can, I cannot promise you because I am not a pro either. See you.